hello. Let me just pull the pop socket out on my back so I can hold it steady. Sort of. Is that better? All right. Um, it's going to be another double video because I was slack and didn't get my 18 week video filmed last week. So this is uh, 18 slash 19 weeks pregnant baby number five. Um, for 18 weeks, I don't think there was too much different going on. Um, I waited until after my midwife appointment to make the video, but, um, I went to my midwife appointment and sat there for 40 minutes waiting and then I left. <laughs> and so, uh, I texted her about three days later and said, and asked her to send my forms through for me to the, I have booked my 20 week scan for the 3rd of January. And so I asked her if she'd fax my forms through in case I didn't see her beforehand. And, um, and then she texts back saying she had actually texted me, uh, but she'd got my number wrong. So that's why I hadn't received it. And cause our reception up here is so shocking. So she just assumed I wasn't receiving her text because of the reception. Um, but yeah, I, I assumed she was at a birth and so kind of forgot to to contact me on the day. And because I when I was sitting at the Plunkett Rooms, a lady said to me while I was there, she asked me who I was waiting for and I told her and she said, oh, she'll only be a, a couple more minutes. And then 40 minutes later, I gave up and left. So whole thing was just a bit of a miscommunication. Um, so... Yes, 18 weeks, there wasn't wasn't too much going on. More movement, um, lots of movement. What day did I, so ye, today is Saturday. So two days ago, I was officially 19 weeks. So I, got, I suppose it, yeah, but then you're doing, you're updating for the week previous. Yeah, so I'll leave that for the next bit. Sorry, my brain fog still. Um, so 18 weeks, yeah, not too, not too much more to report just I booked my scan and um, I believe I said in the last one that I was peeing a lot or needing to pee feeling like I needed to pee a lot and then half the time I'd get there and it wasn't even happening yeah um, so I'll read you the 18 week update well done no not all done? Okie dokie. Okay, 18 weeks. What's going on? You may, oh, you'll find many pregnancy books tell you this week you'll start to feel a first baby move around. Don't hold your breath. You might not feel it move for weeks yet and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Babies mostly move when you are resting at night, basically after 8pm and before 8am. When you move around during the day, you rock the baby to sleep. Use pillows to, pers to, pers to support your growing tummy while you sleep. According to some pregnancy experts this week, the fetus can make facial expressions. Oh yeah, like what? Astonishment? Ooh, yuck, that amniotic fluid tastes bad. Anyway, the fetus is definitely able to move around a lot, swing on the umbilical cord, well, that's what it looks like, and can bite its own fingers or do the hokey pokey if it feels like it. There is lango here all over the body and the blood cells start to form in the bone marrow. Taste buds are forming. Weight is about 200 grams and the length is 14 centimeters. Let's see. Ah, it's good. The book's going to close as soon as I take my hand away. 14 centimeters. Pretty big. Mama. From head to bum. Yes. Peekaboo. Um. Can you see you? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to finish my video, okay? Um, so that was a week 18 update. So week 19 update, um, more and more movement. Jason Jason felt the first movements. I, I was pretty sure I could feel movements from the outside with my hand with my own hand 
um, for maybe a week or two already but it's hard it's hard to tell because sometimes you kind of deceive yourself because you can feel it on the inside so feeling it on the outside um but we've been camping we went so i was 18 weeks on the thursday we left on saturday to go camp uh at his brother's house can i just drink your water good i'm trying to concentrate on two things at once um so we started camping Saturday, stayed in Hamilton one night, and then we came back to Athenry, which is not quite home, <laughs> probably about half an hour drive from here, maybe 40, <coughs> half an hour drive from here at his parents' house. And so then we put the tent up there on Sunday and we stayed there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then came home Thursday. So, oh, so Wednesday was Christmas. Yes. Mama. So, um. <coughs> Mama. Yes. <laughs> and Monday, the Mama. kids woke up <coughs> spewing, all of them. And out of all the people that were in the house, and there was a lot of us, four kids, five kids, two, four, six, eight, ten <coughs> adults. You Out of all of them, I was the only one, I think, one okay. who didn't end up getting si this sickness or whatever it was to some extent. They thought it was food poisoning to start with because everyone was just vomiting or diarrhea. Like, they just ripped through the whole house. Um, but it can't, I don't think it could be food poisoning because we didn't eat the same food that they ate because we're vegan. So we didn't eat the meat or whatever it was they thought was bad. So I don't know what, I don't know what it was, some sort of super bug or something. But I didn't get it and I put it down to pregnancy immunity because I pretty much never get sick when I'm pregnant. That This last sickness that I had a few weeks ago is like the only time I can ever remember getting sick throughout all five pregnancies. Five and a bit. I had one pregnancy between my first and second born, but it only lasted seven weeks. So I didn't get sick then either, but I, I kind of don't really class it as a pregnancy why well, i forget to mention it i'm blabbering again that's a good point um i think i've said that plenty of times before but that's a i don't know if it's a symptom or it's just me but a lot of blabbering a lot of stumbling of words a lot of brain fog and leaving the point um or the trail so back to christmas eve was when jason first felt baby move from the outside um yeah so today is saturday so i'm 19 weeks in two days so i'll be 20 weeks on thursday and i have my scan on the friday um still haven't made, made up my mind still don't want to know uh but jason still does so still don't know what i'm gonna do there i suppose you'll find out in my next video but even if we find out there's a good chance that i won't be telling anyone Um, so yes, what else? Yesterday I had some wicked pains. I don't know what it was. Maybe, oh, that ice hurt my tooth. I got this spot that's really bugging me. It's been there about three days and just won't go away. I suppose I keep picking at it. It doesn't really help, but it hurts. Like maybe I haven't got everything out of it, so it keeps sort of coming back. Uh, energy levels are up and down. I've been grumpy the last two days, which is frustrating. It upsets me because I am grumpy with the kids and it's not their fault. I mean, like, they provoke it, but it, it's not warranted, you know what I mean? They're just kids. They're just being kids. And uh, I don't know. I'll read the 19-week update. And... Let's see if I think there. of anything else. What's not there? Please. Chimney. The kitty. Oh, the kitty. Okay, what's going on? Your waistline is missing. Ah, my waistline's been missing since the start. Oh, Presumed yeah. obliterated. You may have backache, skin pigment changes, and a tendency to vague something or other. Yes. 
I have that. I have the backache. It kind of comes and goes. It's not like a... It's like I need my back straightened. I need it realigned. And if I'm in a weird position... I don't want to say weird, but like... If I'm sitting down, but my knees are kind of pulled up to my chest and I'm leaning back against something, I'll be fine. It doesn't hurt until I go to get up. And then when I like try to straighten my legs out or stand up, that's when it hits me. The kitty's there. I reckon the bottom of my spine needs... Oh, yeah, maybe it ran away. I reckon the bottom of my spine needs realigning. But the vague thing, yes. Uh, the fetus still has plenty of room to hoon around in the amniotic sac. Hang on, darling. But it's a tighter fit than, say, a pear in a bucket of water. That's why, if you haven't already, you will feel movements any time from now on. Its muscles have developed enough for the fetus to be doing loop-the-loops. It can get itself tangled and untangled in the umbilical cord. Careful, please. To not oh, careful. Uh, the fetus is putting on brown colored fat deposits which produce heat to keep it warm. Oh, yeah, pick it up. Mama, can you get, can to you keep it warm. Oh my gosh, no, it's all gone. Okay. Okay. No. Uh, the weight is about 260 grams. So 60 grams in one week. What? Yes, I'll read it when I finish my video. This one has been whinging all day, and I am so over it. But like I say, they're just kids, and it happens, and they have their days just like we have our days, but <sighs> I think that's about all. The baby stool is like down really low, and um, but my tummy is huge, and so I guess it's all... All the water and fluid and stuff that's taking up all the room or I don't know I'm just out of shape Hold I'm almost done I'm almost done I think I'm gonna have to end the video here I'm hungry I'm always hungry yes you can eat that. I will when I'm finished. I'm not going to sit on video any tips. Please, yes, Mama. Hang on, please. <coughs> so, that is it. Until next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.